Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today I have some Christmas romance recommendations for you. All my recommendations today are Christmas related that are not on the alien monster side. That's going to be in a separate video. <laughs> so you can look forward to that when that one comes out. So let's get into these recommendations. I think I have some historical, some novellas, some contemporary, just ones that I love. So let's get started. The first group of books that I'm going to talk about are the Very Merry Mob series by Cassie Mint. These are Christmas set novellas <laughs> that deal with mafia as well. I was in the minority when I read book one, which is Mistletoe Mobster. I really liked this one, but a lot of people don't. So take that with a grain of salt. But that one, I know that one, I really liked it. Our heroine in here is like a bookshop owner and the hero like walks in right when she's closing and he's like bleeding everywhere and she has to like help take care of him. It turns out he's in the mafia. And after she saves him, he ends up like stalking her. I loved it. I thought it was so fun. And it's set during like Christmas time and you might get her some Christmas gifts. And so yeah, each book in the series centers around like a mafia man, but it also takes place like during Christmas time. I thought these were just so fun and entertaining. Like if you want like a short mafia Christmas read, you could totally pick these up. Next, I have The Mistletoe Motive by Chloe Lise. You could not go wrong with a Chloe Lise book. This is her only like holiday set one and it is so good. It also centers around like a bookshop too. So our two main characters in this one are Jonathan and Gabby. Gabby loves Christmas, loves Christmas cheer, will like decorate to her heart's content like she loves it and then Jonathan is more of the bah humbug sort he is, does not have a lot of Christmas spirit anyway they both work at the Bailey's bookstore they don't really get along they're not each other's favorite person in the world okay the Bailey's the owners of the bookshop end up coming to them one day though like shortly before Christmas time and is like hey after like the end of the year we might have to cut y'all from working here because um we're losing some money and so the two of them come up with this plan of in this competition they're like we're gonna see who sells the most books and whoever doesn't sell the most books ends up resigning by new year's um or christmas time i can't remember but they end up resigning regardless and so they get in this little deal they're competing with each other but while they're competing they are also getting to know each other more this book also has like great representation too the heroine in here is autistic and the hero has type one diabetes. I know a few of my viewers um, are really surprised to hear that because they don't really see that a lot in um, like disability rep videos is type one diabetes. So if you're wanting to pick a book with that representation, be sure to pick this one up because I thought it was fantastic. And there's also like a you've got mail situation too. They may be like anonymously texting each other and they don't know that it's the other person they're texting. So I love stories like that. And this book was just filled with so much Christmas cheer. And also some people have asked me where you can pick up this book. This book is a Kobo original. So I don't think it's on Amazon at all because Kobo is with like Walmart or something. Um, but I know that there's an audiobook out there. So just like maybe stock Chloe Lisa's like website or something or figure out how you can get it if you don't have like a Walmart near you or something like that. But the audiobook is fantastic and I really recommend picking that one up. Talia Hibbert is an amazing writer, okay? And she writes amazing holiday romances. So this one is Mary Inkmas. This is a romance between Bailey and Cash. Bailey is working at this coffee bar. She's a barista and she is very much intrigued with Cash because he comes in almost every day and orders a coffee and tells her to surprise him, like make whatever she wants. And she thinks he is so hot he comes in with all these tattoos like she is totally interested in him but then he ends up witnessing like her getting fired from her job and he like thinks he's responsible for it so he ends up offering her a job at his tattoo shop down the road so she becomes like the receptionist at the tattoo shop and the two of them are forced to like admit their feelings for each other it was really cute and really sweet i really enjoyed this one um and it does take place during like christmas time and it has a lot of cute coffee elements. I thought it was so sweet. And Tali Hibbert's writing is just 10 out of 10 amazing. But I will say my favorite Christmas <laughs> read by her is definitely Wrapped Up in You. This one is like a childhood friends to lovers romance. This is the romance between William and Abby. Ever since they were kids, William like never had the best like home life. So he'd come over to Abby's house when they were kids, like her grandmother's house every Christmas, to celebrate Christmas with them. And so he's still doing that many years later when he's a grown adult. But this year on Christmas, William has a plan to finally 
admit the feelings that he's had for Abby for years. But when he finally reveals those feelings, like Abby doesn't necessarily believe him. Like she finds it too good to be true. She's been longing after William for years, but she thinks that he would never reciprocate. He is this now like big celebrity actor. He's basically kind of like Chris Hemsworth level fame in America now. Like he lives in America, but now he's back in England. So the two of them also get snowed in at her grandmother's house. And they're forced to like be in forced proximity and talk about their feelings and stuff. And this book is so funny too. There's so many funny elements. Like there's a part of this book where the grandma loves to meddle in their love life too. I love it. Um, but the grandma has like a bajillion cats and she can't find one of them and the cat is pregnant. And so they have to go find the cat outside in the snow and the cat's giving birth to like kittens in the snow and they're having to like figure out how to deal with this. <laughs> well, this one was such a sweet and wholesome, amazing holiday read that has a wonderful friends to lovers trope. A favorite of mine that I ended up reading last year is Set the Record Straight by Hannah Bonham Young. This is a fake dating holiday romance. So Clara and Evan grew up like being best friends with each other. They're both older now. They both have like big girl jobs. Um, and for whatever reason, one of them needs a fake date to like fake date the other person and um they're just like fake dating one of them has been pining after the other for quite a long time i think evan has been pining after clara for like years but never thinks like anything would happen she's never even tried because clara's always said that she is straight um but then they have like a fake kiss to like show that they're fake dating or whatever and clara realizes that is the best kiss she's ever had in her entire life and she might not be straight. This book was so fantastic. Like the amount of character development Hannah Bonham Young can put in like an under 200 page book is beyond me. Like it was so good. I absolutely love this one. It gives all the Christmas vibes. Like both of them go home to I think Clara's house for Christmas during this book and it was so sweet. I loved it so much. There are some sugar warnings in here so I'll let you know. Sugar warnings for homophobia. I think Evan's family is not supportive of her at all. Uh, familial estrangement and mentions of uh, religious oppression. So please be aware of those before you get into this one, but I adore this one. Next I have All He Wants for Christmas by Katie Wild. I just adore Katie Wilde. She's written a few Christmas romances, but I think this one's my favorite from her. So this one's about a detective. His name, his name is Cole. And one day he was like shot on the job and he thinks he was saved by an angel. Like the reason he's alive is because he saw this angel hovering over him while he was bleeding out and he thinks this angel saved him. So it's, I think like a year or so, or a few months later, he's now back on the job. And I think the mayor or governor on the town has told him that his daughter is going to be moving into the same apartment building as him and to like kind of just like keep an eye on her and whatnot. And so he's in for a shock when uh, he meets the daughter and realizes like that's the angel who saved his life. And I'm just gonna leave it there. It takes place during Christmas time. It was so wonderful, so sweet. I love Katie Wilde's writing style as well. Lastly, I have two historical romances for you. First, I have How the Duke Saved Christmas by Anna Harrington. I think this was one of my favorite Christmas romances that I ended up reading last year. This is the second chance romance between Clara and Michael. I think about a year ago, they were engaged to be married in secret. Like no one knew that they were engaged to be married, but they were. And Clara and her family end up getting in a carriage accident that leaves Clara with the inability to walk anymore. And she feels like she would not be a good duchess because of this. And so she decides to cut off all ties with Michael because she feels like she does not deserve him and she would just be a burden. Um, Michael is devastated when she cuts like everything off with him. He thinks the reason why she did this is because he blame she blames him for the accident she was in, which is not the case at all. This takes place uh, a year later around Christmas time and Clara and her brother are stuck. Like their carriage is stuck and the only place close by is Michael's home. Her brother decides to take them there to seek refuge because it's snowing and it's just not safe to stay outside for that long. So they go to Michael's home and they end up staying there for a few days. Clara is very reluctant to because just seeing Michael just breaks her heart all over again because she loves him so much, but she feels like she would just be a burden. So Michael is there to show her how amazing of a woman she is. It doesn't matter if she has disability or not, like he loves her for who she is and she is an amazing woman. And Michael is just everything. I love him with my whole heart and chest. He is so wonderful. There's also some rambunctious nieces and nephews that are staying with him at the time that are very meddlesome in their relationship. I just 
adore this one. It has amazing disability representation. I 100% recommend it. And the last book that I have to recommend is A Wallflower Christmas by Lisa Kleypas. This is book number 4.5 in the Wallflower series. So I do recommend reading the other Wallflower books because this is like a short, fun, Christmassy book. Like it does center around like a new couple. It's centered around Rafe and Natalie. I think Rafe is supposed to marry Natalie's cousin or something, but they end up falling for each other. But there are large portions of this book that are centered around the side, like the main characters of the main Wallflower series. So I do recommend reading those books or you might not love this one as much as you should, but basically it's about the Wallflowers during Christmas time and there are very many children that they've had. It was so cute. It's like seeing all your favorite characters come together in like one happy Christmassy time. It was so fun. And I also really did love like the new short romance between Rafe and Natalie. Anyways, there you have it. Those were some Christmas romance recommendations for you. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a, um, what should we leave in the comments? Let's do a present emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.